Good morning, learner. Welcome to our today's English lesson. That uh, in our today's lesson, you're going to look at language craft, language use. And this is in uh, your English, primary English. Look at your primary English, page, uh, page 119, page 119. So under that learner, we have that under the passage uh, that is topic 15 fire firefighting under the under, under the, the theme firefighting so we want to look at the first language use that is uh, the use of uh, decide find out so this we can either use this decide or we can talk of find out forget or understand then we add something small when, how, or what, plus an infinitive. And I remember what I mentioned some time back, the, uh, the meaning of an infinitive. An infinitive simply means this is a verb in, uh, in, the, in the root form. I talk of the word play. So after two, we are going to put an infinitive work. We can talk of work here. Even here, we have after two, we have to, to repair. You can't talk to repair them, etc. So this thing is very simple. Let's look at the, the, this first example. The teacher illustrated. The teacher illustrated how to work out a sum. The teacher illustrated how to work out a sum. So you can see the teacher. All these that are here, here so we have not included there. We have only used the, the word illustrate. That is also a verb, just like these ones. I talk of decided. He decided how to pass examination. Still correct. The teacher find found out found out how to punish how to punish. Don't say punish. How to punish the learners. The teacher forgot in the past. The teacher forgot 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 uh, maybe what he was looking for. There is what here, what, what to do. He forgot what to collect for the learners, for example. He forgot what to collect. So after, after, after two, we're going to use this verb there in infinity, what to collect for the learners. So let's look at that for example and see how that work has come here. Illustrated how to work out a sum. That was example one. Example two, the pupils could not I use the word could, the verb could not, that is also not here. The pupils could not tell, could not tell, could not tell, could not tell how. We are still using how here, how to repair the machine. So they could not tell how to repair the machine. And that is how you can see the way could not have been used. And how, after how, you can see the use of two and repair, after two there is a repair placed there. So I want to give you one examples but I'm using the same same thing that are here. A you can use the word we may be understand. So Tom Tom do not understand 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 when 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 you call the mechanic so you could not understand when to do that so when to call I've used the word understand here as I've and I've also used when when to do that you can also put that Tom could not understand how to Tom could not understand how to calculate how to calculate the, the sum. You have used when, you have used how. How to use what? Jen could Jen uh, Jen decided decided Jen uh, decided 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 what to do. For example, he decided on what to do so after what to and do concept of done or decided what 
what to what to to read for example Tom decided on what to to read can also put another example using you can use maybe a uh, find out as b the guide found out found out found out what what to read in the trip place also correct you use the word guide uh, the guide a guide is just anybody who guides somebody can be a tour guide and the rest and or, or any other so the guide found out you use the word find out there found out what what has come there what to give so after two what to give the pupils so then, uh, this particular language use is very simple I want to give you that because that it is the first one in that, in that in that topic. So you can try as many as much as much as you can. I can see very many, uh, very not very many, but they are just little. And we have been told to the exercise there. Think of suitable words to complete the following sentences in a similar way. Number one, we've been told the teacher found out how to dash the problem. Rana, you can even uh, uh, give it directly. The teacher found out. The teacher found out how to. When you solve, for example, how to solve the problem. So two has been given. There. After two, we have a dash. So after two, remember, Rana, that is the marking point. And ensure that that verb is in infinitive. That that verb is in present simple. The teacher found out how to solve the problem, or the teacher found out how to manage the problem. The teacher found out how to execute. You can use so many parts. The teacher found out how to calculate and use so many, a lot of them. Number two, we have the tutor. A tutor is a, just like a teacher. It's somebody who tutors or who lectures. So the teacher decided when to dash an example, when to give an example, when to demonstrate an example, when to illustrate. You can use a lot of verbs in that. What the teacher gave on the board. So, Lana, I don't want to continue, but simply to give that work. And uh, I, just, I just wrote the, the page here, but let me write it well. We need to be able to see it clearly. This is primary English, page 119. So we are going to do that exercise. Roman 1, Roman uh, 7. So until next time, Lana, I only wish you a very blessed day. Full of hard work. You have a lot of work Lana, to do. You have a lot of work to do. So I can only wish you nice, uh, well, and a very busy day ahead of us. Thank you and God bless you.